Hi everyone, welcome back to my channel. Today, I want to talk about a groundbreaking technique in ACL surgeries, known as the Bear Bridge Enhanced ACL Repair Procedure. ACL injuries have long been associated with lengthy recovery time, extensive surgery, and a high possibility of re-injury. However, modern technology has introduced a promising new procedure known as the Bridge Enhanced ACL Repair. This revolutionary procedure involves an implant that actually encourages the body's own natural healing process. The bare implant is filled with the patient's own blood and then placed in the gap between the torn ends of the ACL. It delivers a concentrated boost of healing cells directly to the injury site. What's truly fascinating about this procedure is that it acts as a bridge, which aids the torn ACL in healing itself. One key advantage of this procedure over traditional ACL repair surgeries is that it aims to preserve as much of the patient's original anatomy as possible. This has the benefit of reducing the risk of developing osteoarthritis later in life, a common issue with traditional ACL reconstructions. The recovery time with the bare procedure is on par with traditional ACL reconstruction, although some patients have reported a faster return to their sport or another physical activity. However, as with all surgeries, the recovery process varies from person to person. The bare procedure is a major breakthrough in the field of ACL surgeries, and it's something I'm excited to discuss more in the upcoming videos. Compared to traditional ACL reconstruction, ACLR, bridge-enhanced ACL repair, bare, results in significantly better hamstring strength in patients two years post-operatively. This may potentially lead to better functional outcomes and quicker restoration of pre-injury activity levels. However, individual recovery times can vary based on a variety of factors, including the severity of the initial injury, rehabilitation efforts, and overall patient health. For the most accurate and personalized information, it is always recommended to consult with a healthcare professional. Remember to always consult with your healthcare professional before making any decisions regarding your health. That's it for today's video. Remember to leave any queries that you might have in the comments section below, and don't forget to like, share and subscribe to the channel for more updates. Thanks for watching and stay healthy.